now gonna do what's called the Narrows, which is a hike through this water canyon. And it goes pretty far apparently. So we're gonna get wet, real wet. I did not bring the right shoes for this. Ooh. We're gonna go for a swim. Yeah. Find somewhere to put the stuff. The water is nice. Hiking maybe close to about six hours today so far in total. Gained 9,000 meters of elevation. No feet. 9,000 feet. <laughs> meters, that'd be impressive. Um, at Angel's Landing. Now we're here in the Narrows. Got a spot to itself. Might go for a little swim. Let's get a little, little snacking. Zion. What a treat. Shall we go for a swim? That was a really good cool off. We're gonna see if we can make it to the end of the canyon. Then turn back. We're having our shuttle make, our hike to make. Most important thing when you're out in the wilderness, at least remember, to take out what you bring in. Because uh, if you're not, then you're dead. You don't belong in these sites. You don't deserve them. Graceful. Nice. A couple more waterfalls to climb. We're about to repel down this canyon. We hit a dead end. This is an impassable waterfall. Slippery. Yeah. Hard. Dangerous. Up over your chest. Gonna drown. Lose all our stuff. But uh, we're gonna try. The impassable waterfall. We're gonna try. I got it. Oh, I'm trying. We gotta try. The huge difference. Oh, that's a, that's a yeah. What? Oh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> so that that little waterfall was kind of hard to get up because there was no grip, so I kind of had to do like a rock climb push to the wall and jump up. I'm like the only one that made it up. Unfortunately, Courtney had to stay behind. But she gave me the camera. She threw it to me. Kids to me. Now I know that's probably not doing it justice, but uh, this is a perfect way to end up a really perfect day in Zion. I'm gonna stop here, head back with Corny. Wow, love it here. Holy crap, what a good day! A couple scrapes, a couple bruises, not really, nothing major. First we were up there, now I'm over here, actually up a whole different mountain. 
been one of the most fulfilling hiking days of my life. Sorry you couldn't see this one cactus. I had to take the video for you so you know what it's like. Man, amazing. Bye bye Narrows Waterfall. Bye bye. Coming back. This is where things got interesting. And by interesting, I mean friggin' terrible. The reason I jumped into that spot was I've already been up it once, down it another time to retrieve the camera. So I've been in that water, I slid down into that water already, and then up it a third time, and I didn't detect any rocks. But what happened was I was confident in that scenario. When I jumped in, my ankle fell, my right ankle fell in between two rocks and got bounced back and forth. So when I jumped, I just destroyed my ankle. I destroyed every ligament in my ankle. And I knew instantly I was seriously hurt. And we were at the very end of our hike. We were at our turnaround point. So we had four miles to hike out in the worst terrain possible. And I didn't see a rescue happening. Um, it was getting a little later, so there was fewer and fewer people around. I saw Courtney, once she realized the gravity of the situation, she was about to cry. I said, don't you dare cry. You gotta be my rock, because this is gonna suck. Very early on, I was pretty sure I might have completely broke my ankle, and I remember getting a little flush, and I felt a bit faint, because I was, I was like, fuck, they're gonna have to take a helicopter to get me out of here. This is gonna cost like 60 grand. Like, how do you get out of here? It, it's, you can't just walk out on a stretcher. The paramedics would fall, and you know, you're in deep. And I just shut that down and said, there's no screwing about. We gotta just keep moving, keep moving. In the Narrows, flash floods can come like that. That day, there wasn't any rain predicted, but if we were stuck overnight, you'd get caught up in a flash flood and very likely die. So that wasn't an option for me. We were getting out of there. I could barely walk, but luckily earlier, I grabbed a, a makeshift walking stick. So that was my best friend. Without that, I don't know how I would have made it 10 feet. Courtney tried to help, but she's a lot shorter than me. And basically what we did was she planted the root and I walked behind her foot for foot in the water. So I knew I wasn't gonna like hit anything unstable, so she had to walk directly in front of me. Some of the crazy shit that happened. I lost my walking stick. I fell over on a river crossing, and the stick, the stick started going down the river, and Corny just dove in after it. She lost her shoe, she swam, she went around the corner. I was stuck almost falling, going, Corny, Corny! <laughs> I thought she just left me, I thought she swam for it. She wasn't gonna risk the flash flood. But she came back with a stick like a hero. We ran into a nice couple that could clearly tell I was hurt. One of them happened to be a nurse. So initially she's like, let's take off your boot and let me see it. And I said, absolutely not. If I take this boot off, I'm not getting it back on. I know it's bad. So we used Courtney's UV shirt and wrapped a splint around my foot. And luckily that added a lot of extra support, helped me put a little more weight on it. We ran into other people who each gave me a professional walking stick. So I was basically using them like crutches as much as I could. And that friggin' helped tremendously. A couple other people gave us Advil. I'd probably pop like eight Advils. This was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. The terrain in there is terrible, even for an able-bodied person. I had to go over boulders and over these rocks. We had to do 20 river crossings. There's, there's not a good place to put your foot in all of the narrows. So it was friggin' awful. Just, just hitting your foot. Ugh, sliding down rocks. I swam where I could, but then there was little rapids and you'd hit yourself and you couldn't swim much of it. Um, you had to walk, it was too shallow. There was no cell service in the Narrows, so basically we couldn't call a ranger. We just sent people ahead. So to make things worse, it was getting late when we were in there. We were taking twice as long at least getting out. Man, it was a slow, slow, painful process. I was concerned about missing that shuttle and being stuck in the narrows at nightfall and risking a flash flood overnight. So we were determined as hell to get out of there. When you're hurt, adrenaline kicks in when you know you gotta do something. <laughs> I was like, what would Bear Grylls do? What would, you know, <laughs> what would Captain America do? I didn't think about Captain America. Eventually after about four, four and a half hours, I got out. We made the second last shuttle, 15 minutes to spare. We stayed the night without going to the hospital. It was closed or we had to drive an hour two hours. And then I went to the hospital first thing in the morning. Well, there's uglier medical clinics you can visit. That's for sure. Sit wrap after the best hike yesterday. I might have broken my ankle. 
we might have fucked up this trip. Take a look. Severe grade three ankle sprain, nothing broken, but I am in a walking boot. I can't walk for shit. My ankle doesn't work. We still really love Zion National Park and I did not let it ruin our trip. Courtney and I debated whether we should go home early or not and call the trip off. But I still went horseback riding and still rode a dune buggy. I drove lefty and uh, we made the most of our trip. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed that story. Stay tuned for more content. <sighs> wow, it was an adventure. Please like, subscribe for more videos. I'd really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy some of the shots and some of the stories I'm bringing you. Just a little, uh, little slow to get motivated these days. All right, guys, take her easy.